Going to big school can be a big change for your child or children and there are some key things to be mindful of or on the lookout for starting with communication skills. Yes. Tell me more. Schools are really verbal environments for your child. We want them to be able to follow instructions from their teachers and their peers. We want them to understand what's being said to them and we want them to be able to communicate what they know clearly as well. They're really good things to be mindful of around communication, but a big part of school then is motor coordination and moving around. So what are some things to be aware of there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, there's over 20 children in most kindergarten classrooms, so your child isn't going to get the same one-on-one -on -one attention that they might be used to at home. Um, we need your child to have well-developed coordination skills so that they can take their shoes on and off them themselves, um, open and close their own lunch boxes. <laughs> yeah. um, teachers don't have time to open all of the containers. Uh, they need to be able to use a pencil and scissors. Yeah, lots of fine motor skills. Yeah. Um, and participate in learning activities that need hand and eye coordination as well as motor coordination. Yeah, so lots of fine motor skills, but then there can be gross motor skills yeah, as well into too. different games and things as well. Another area to look at could be the ability to concentrate and manage emotions, especially with 20 children in the same room. Tell Absolutely. me more. Absolutely. Um, Children socialise so much at school. Um, they need to be able to follow rules in a game in the playground, um, play cooperatively with their classmates, um, and they need to be able to handle the structured nature of learning in the classroom as well as focusing on tasks and following directions. Um, sometimes transitions can be tricky for children, so being able to cope with moving from one activity to another is a great skill to master. Really good tips again, that sort of leads into the next topic, which is social maturity and having that sense of independence. Yeah, there's definitely times at school where children aren't supervised as closely as they are at home. So sometimes they need to go to the bathroom by themselves or they're following the structured classroom routine. And while the teacher might be in the classroom, there's conversations going on between peers. Your child needs to be able to deal with challenges that might pop up, like not always being first in line or not always being the winner <laughs> in every game um, and doing things that the teacher's asking them to do even when they might not want to do them. <laughs> so there's a lot of topics here and, and I'm a parent myself with three kiddies and but I'm a health professional as well, so it can feel a little bit easier being a health professional to navigate some things with that knowledge. But as a parent, how do you navigate these things? If, you, if you're concerned about one of these areas, what do you do? Reach out to us. That's all we're here for, to help out. If you've got any questions or any concerns, please reach out and we can provide guidance. Um, the same with your children's school and their teachers as well. So there's lots of support out there, whether that's an organisation like Community Therapy or the school itself with different supports and services. There can be things like speech pathology, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, to name a few, to address different parts of development, I guess. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Hopefully that's really helpful, some of these tips. There's a lot more and we can dive into some of those in future episodes. Absolutely. Wonderful.